here at the Beacon, we've been talking a lot about God's love for us. How huge and immeasurable God's love is for you and me. The fact that He loves us daily. And how that love comes and fills us. And then it should overflow out of us into the world and the people around us. God's love, if it's real in us, should be contagious. It should be something that people experience every time they spend time with us. God's love and his presence in our life should be evident to the people around us. But the reality of the matter is that most of us don't look like this. Most of us, maybe we've experienced God's love for ourselves, but it hasn't overflown into the world around us. Let me ask you this. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Do you believe that he came to this earth and died for you and for me? And do you believe the promise that he said? Or if we follow him, if we believe in him, that he promises us the gift of eternal life. Well, if you believe that, then think about this. Whenever you share the person of Jesus with someone, you're giving them a forever gift. A gift that will last forever, for eternity. If you love someone, if you care for them at all, this is something that you should want for them. The idea that they would get to experience God's love forever. You know, I think this idea of eternity is something that we don't grasp truly. Obviously, we're humans. But I also think it's something that we don't think about. We're so focused on the here and the now that we don't focus on the big picture, where and what we'll be doing for the majority of our existence, which is in eternity. If we got past what we thought about people cared about us now, or if we got past how our reputation or popularity might be damaged if we talked to people about Jesus and we said, you know, it doesn't matter that much right here, right now, because this is only a short period of time compared to eternity. If we lived free like that, I think we could change the world. And so I want to introduce to you today a new initiative that we're starting, something that we're launching here at the Beacon for this spring and summer. We're calling it the Forever Initiative. The Forever Initiative is the idea, and it's a challenge, that we would give people the gift of forever. So over the next four months, we're challenging you as an individual to share Jesus Christ with four people. That's right, four months. So from basically district youth retreat all the way to the first day of the new school, May, June, July, and August, four months, four people. You know, right now the national statistics are showing us that if you invite 10 people to youth group, that four of them would say yes. So I want you to get this number four in your head. Four months, four people. Who knows, could you imagine if the beacon grew by four times? In the next four months, that would be crazy. Some of you are saying, I don't know what to do, Dan. I, I feel inadequate to do this. Let me give you two ideas real quick. First, start with sharing your story. What has God done for you? What has God done for you in your life? Share that with people. Let them experience the reality of who Jesus is to you. And if you've done that, and you're still not sure how to talk to somebody about God, then just bring them here. We would love to join with you and your friends in having honest, real, genuine conversations about who God is. So, please, join us in this new launch of the Forever Initiative.